Hey, how's it going GPU heads? Thanks for clicking on my video. Seb Heslow here. And today I figured I'll give you a tour of my whole mining farm, I guess, here. Um, and um, first things first, whatever hash rates I've put for my farm in the title of this video isn't actually the hash rate I'm getting because I'm not just mining Ethereum on all my GPUs. So the hash rate I've put there is the hash rate I would have gotten if I would have mined, you know, Ethereum on all my GPUs, but I'm not. I'm also mining Ravencoin. I'm mining Ravencoin on all my uh, LHR GPUs, and I'm mining Ethereum on all my non-LHR GPUs, all of my full uh, hash rate GPUs, so to speak. But yeah, let's uh, jump right into things, shall we? So to start things off with, I think a lot of you have seen this rig before. This is the well, it was the 4x3060 to mine Ravencoin. I built this rig in one of my videos. Uh, I'll put the link for that in the description or up in the card right now. But it has since become a 5x3060. And these are all the same, except the first four ones are the version 1 3060s that are just like limited on Ethereum. But the fifth and last one here, that's the new one. Uh, it is the same, you know, Asus Dual 3060, but that one is the full LHR version. However, I don't mind. I, I bought these uh, for the purpose of mining Ravencoin, and that is what they are gonna mine. So LHR being limited on Ethereum doesn't really matter anyway. But since I just got done putting that fifth and final card in, I'm gonna put this in its place, plug it in, and then we'll see what hash rate we're getting on it. All right, so there it is in its right position. And I forgot to mention earlier, but I also put these uh, additional fans on this side since you guys saw me build this because I figured like fans on both sides help with cooling a lot on this rig because as you know, Ravencoin, uh, produces a lot of heat while mining it and these small like Asus Dual cards they don't have the best cooling in the world like they're small so like their heat sinks are small <laughs> it's just physics right so having two rows of fans like this has really helped with cooling for these cards and let's see the hash rates we're getting on this rig um, mining Ravencoin so I don't know how well you guys can see this, but we're getting around 23 and a half mega hash per card for a total of uh, just around 120 or so mega hash on the full rig. Now that's mining Ravencoin, of course, as I've said. And we're having like a strange issue with this rig. And I figure one of my 3060s is actually uh, a bit dodgy because the rig will work fine like this and then you know I'll reboot it and all of a sudden one of the GPUs just won't be detected it's always the second one from the left and then rebooting it again like the rig still won't find that specific GPU and I've tried changing the um, riser and the USB cable that doesn't help like this keeps happening every once in a while when I reboot the rig and I also know it's not the motherboard's problem, like the motherboard can't properly handle more than three because it happened when we had four GPUs and it's happening now that we have five GPUs and it's still just the one graphics card. So, I mean, if any one of you has any, like an idea for something I could try, but the, uh, the only thing that I've found works so far is when that happens, I just power the rig off and then I move one of the PCIe adapters to a different slot and reboot the rig and then Windows finds all five GPUs again. I have no idea <laughs> why that works but it just does. And so for this whole rig we're just using one single 1200 watt power supply to power the whole thing and it's actually only pulling around 800 watts or so at the wall uh, but you know me, I like to be rather safe than sorry when it comes to power supplies and I usually have a lot more powerful power supplies than needed for my rigs. So anyway, let's move on to the next rig. And so our next rig is this one. This is a 13x1660 Super Rig 
As um, many of you know, I quite like my 1660 Supers for mining. Uh, the really good, uh, the really efficient mining Ethereum and best of all, no risk of them being LHR because all 1660 Supers are full hash rate. And so in this rig, we've got all Hynix memory 1660 Supers. And for those of you who don't know, 1660 Supers can have either Micron, Hynix or Samsung memory. And basically up until very recently, Hynix memory was considered the worst one. Uh, where you could only get around 31.8 mega hash or pretty much exactly 31.8 mega hash out of um, Hynix memory 1660 supers but um, there's recently been a like BIOS a new BIOS that you can flash Hynix memory once with that allow you to get quite a bit higher hash rate you can get up to like 35 36 I've even seen some 1660 supers get so what I've done is I've started flashing these and I'll go through them all but basically so far I've only flashed my five MSI Hynix 1660 Supers here and I still have an additional eight to flash but so let's go through them I got two 1660 Super um, Asus Tough so one and two here then I got the three MSI Gaming X ones. Those are the ones with all the cool like RGB lighting. We got two MSI Ventus ones. And those MSI ones are the ones with the flashed BIOS as I've said. I'll show you the hash rate for that in a minute. Then I got two Asus Jewel ones. I got three EVGA used, I don't know what they're called to be honest. EVGA ones, kind of small ones. And then finally, on the edge here, I got one of these tiny Asus Phoenix ones. And they are all plugged in on one of the ASRock H110 BTC Pro Plus, whatever they're called, motherboards. Which lets you have 13 GPUs plugged in, and that's what we got here. And powering this rig, we've got a 850 watt power supply and a 1200 watt power supply which again is more than plenty as this rig only pulls around 1100 watts or so at the wall and to connect those two power supplies together i'm using one of these add to psu ships got a link for those in the description that is my recommended way of using two power supplies on the same rig i've actually got a video on that if you want to check that out and a total for this rig we're getting around 423 or so mega hash and for the BIOS flashed ones we're getting just above 34 mega hash and for the rest of the other ones that have the normal BIOS uh, for Hynix 1660 supers we get around 31.8 or pretty much bang on 31.8 which is you know standard for 1660 supers with Hynix memory oh and by the way since I know you guys will ask I'll have a link for these tiny touch screens in the description as well so let's move on to the next rig shall we so our next rig is right here and guess what it is another 13 times 1660 super rig and this one has a mix of Samsung and Micron memory 1660 supers and in it I got one, two, three, four pallet ones. It's the one with the white light on top. We got two Asus Jewel ones on top. And down below we have another three Asus Jewel ones and we have four Gigabyte 1660 Supers. As I said, this rig is a mix of Micron and Samsung memory. And on this rig we're getting a total of 415 and a half mega hash or so and the hash rates for the individual cards range between like 31.5 to almost 33 or so and powering this rig we again got one 850 watt power supply and another 1200 watt power supply but the rig actually only pulls around a thousand watts or so 
Oh, and uh, by the way, for these two um, 1660 Super Rigs, I've built the frame for them myself using a PDF guide that I've got. I'll link a, uh, well, I've made a video guide that comes with a PDF guide that you can follow along. It has like 3D blueprints of every step and detailed instructions. So link for that is always in the description, but I'll link the video in the top corner up there as well. And now then of course we've still got our hodgepodge rig here with mostly old 10 series cards uh, but we also got a 1660 ti and a regular 1660 in here but so walking through the cards we got a 1080 used to have a 1080 ti but actually got rid of that because efficiency on that card just isn't great compared to you know more modern cards we got a 1060, two 1070s, that's a 1660, that's another 1070, another 1060, the 1660 Ti, and another 1060 down there. And so for this rig, we are getting a total of uh, almost 250 mega hash, 245 and a half or so. And you can see the individual hash rates for each card there, I hope. I'm not going to go through it all because it varies so much in this rig. But yeah, plan for this rig is actually to sell off all of these 10 series cards eventually because they're not efficient mining Ethereum compared to more modern cards, as I said, for the 1080 Ti. And I, I just like to free this rig up for, for more modern cards, I guess you know, use the uh, the power that we have more efficiently. And powering this rig, we got one 650 watt power supply and one 1200 watt power supply. And the rig only pulls around 1200 watts, I believe, in total at the wall. So still got plenty of headroom there. All right, now finally we got another mixed rig, but this one is pretty much only modern cards. We got mostly 30 series cards in here uh, but we got some 16 series cards as well and this is in one of those 12 gpu mining frames that red panda mining very uh, very generously gifted us and speaking of red panda mining he also got us this which is a 3070 ti asus rog strix thank you so much again red panda this is amazing i love this card and that's mining raven coin of course and above that we've got the twin msi supreme x 3070s that you probably have seen in at least one of my videos where one is lhr this first one and the second one is not lhr so full hash rate they are exactly the same, just one is LHR and one is not. And I put them against each other in a couple of videos, just trying different coins and just basically comparing like what actually is LHR. So I'll link that in the description as well for those of you who are interested and have missed those videos. And now below this, and there's probably no way I'll be able to show you this properly, maybe through the fans. Uh, no, not really. Well, no. There is a 3060 Ti LHR version in there, an ASUS one. And then of course, finishing up here, we got a regular 1660 and two 1660 Supers as well. And now if we look down here, you can see all of the GPUs I just told you about are those red cables here. But then we got three white cables coming out here and they're going over to, ah, I'm not gonna show you those ones because those are still secret. So if you've been following along on my channel, you know I had one secret GPU. Well, that's turned into three secret GPUs now and I'll reveal what those are really soon. But as for now, I can tell you that they are full hash rate and they are 3070s and they're plugged in to this rig. And so again for this, rig we've got a 1200 watt and a 850 watt power supply and this whole rig actually only pulls around 1300 watts and that is including the 
three secret 3070s and those three secret 3070s are powered by their own 850 watt power supply but that's it for power in this rig now let's look at hash rates shall we and so like i said i'm mining both ethereum and ravencoin on this rig i'm mining ravencoin on the lhr gpus and i'm mining ethereum on the full hash rate gpus so we got our ethereum mining cards over here and we're getting just above 340 mega hash on these cards total pretty much exactly 342 and as you can see the 3070s give between 62 and 64 mega hash and then we got our 1660 supers at 31.8 basically and the 1660 at 25.7 and then we got our Ravencoin GPUs here, which is first of all the 3070 Ti at just below 39 mega hashes per second. And that is actually a bit less than you're usually able to get on a 3070 Ti. Uh, I actually have quite bad silicon lottery on this one, believe it or not. I can't go higher than 900 on the memory clock or it will crash my system, but you know, I'm, I'm not too fussed about getting one extra mega hash like in the long term that's not gonna make that big of a difference and then we got the LHR 3070 which is getting just above 30 mega hash or so 30.8 but that has great mining efficiency on Ravencoin as you can see getting 200 kilo hashes per watt and then finally we got our LHR 3060 Ti that's getting well, just below 29 mega hash a second or so, but it's also not as efficient as the 3070. All right, that is pretty much it. And if you got any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, then please give it one of these. I'd really appreciate it. And what you gotta do now is you gotta click on that next video on the screen, because this video is over. You can also click the picture on my face to subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. But yeah, go click on the next video and I'll see you there. Goodbye. Bye 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 bye.